here I've just opened up in Vim the, the Docker container, uh, the, the user XML, okay? And the idea is that I want to, we want to reduce the number of events that we run because we want, the, we want this to finish uh, reasonably soon. Okay, so I've reduced this number. The seed is one as I already explained. Then I've turned, out, uh, turned off the initial state module by putting it under comment, right? So originally it, this, this extra exclamation mark was not there, okay? That's the PT had been. Same thing for the pre-equilibrium, turned off. Uh, brick, we don't need a hydro brick, so that's, that's this. We, we will um, uh, run the example from the file here. And the rest is good. Okay. Now the idea is we want to go into the build directory. And then we just need to do run Jetscape. There it goes. So it takes a little while for uh, to read the uh, hydro profile. While we're waiting for this to run, maybe there's a perfectly timed question. Can you go over the changes in the file again? And let me add to that. Would it be possible for you to post the one, the configuration yeah. file yeah, yeah. you used? Yeah, yeah, sure. So if I go back, okay, and if I go into the configuration file. So, the default had 200 here, which I reduced to 20. Also, this was enabled and pre-equilibrium was also enabled. This was enabled. Okay. So we don't need the trend to initial conditions. We simply need to disable it like so. We don't need the pre-equilibrium as well. So we can disable it like so. Okay, and these guys over here are, are okay. And this brick is essentially turned off here. Right, so save and quit. If I go into the build. Oh, sorry. Directory here. Um, build and Jetscape. Ready. 
And there it goes. Okay. And now it's reading in the hydro profile and doing the, the calculations. So while this is running, uh, just a note that is a, a reminder, there were some, um, some additional features added to the Docker image. So when you're not actively running code, go in and um, do Docker pull command, the, the Docker pull command, okay? If you have not done it already. Right. And then this generates a test.out. And there it is. One, and then two, and then three, and so on. Okay. Then it's a simple matter of running the final state hadrons on the test.out. And you can put that in there you have it right and now it's just a simple uh, a simple matter of copying over the test dot out into the results cross section as well and last bit was final. Okay. So strictly speaking, what, what the two files that we would need for the analysis um, is going to be uh, the cross section file and the final state hadrons file. We don't need the full event, but for sake of completeness, you can you can uh, you can co copy both of those things over. Okay. Now on uh, Monday, inside of this uh, Docker container, you will also find. I will repeat this on Monday, so don't don't, don't worry if it's if if it's if it's not written. But we will go into cross sections example, and there is uh, the analysis script that we're going to be using. And there are several sections in here that um, I, I would want you guys to edit. Okay, and it's this, and it's sections like that where I would, I would like you guys to add the code. So this is this big piece here is going to read over all the particles and select uh, the uh, the pions and bin them in uh, different PT hat in different PTs and different rapidities. And then over here, uh, we're going to calculate, uh, I will give you details on Monday, uh, the cross section, the error on the cross section first, and then further down below here, we're gonna calculate the actual cross section as well. Okay. So the, these are essentially the, these sections over here is where you, you guys would uh, have to put in code on Monday, but we'll go over that uh, on, on Monday. I'm just wanted to give you a little bit of heads up what's coming up next. Uh, All right, and it sounds like it's also important that people really follow the um, setup that you're giving them today as well, because um, it involves some downloads, which could take people a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if it, it, because I wanted to make this uh, uh, as realistic as possible and I wanted to load an actual event profile, I mean, we can do it also with, with uh, Chun's, uh, you know, low resolution hydro runs, but this also gives you an idea of the sort of this time scale that it takes for, for, for Jetscape to run for real, okay? Because this is a, this is a, this is a real hydro event with uh, a high enough resolution that We'll, you can do, you can do this for real for real analysis. Okay. All right. This seems like a good time to wrap this part of it up. Okay. So we'll stop.